donkey of the day with Charlemagne the God. I don't know why y'all keep letting him get y'all like this. Oh, it's me? It's me, Duval? Really? Donkey of the day for Tuesday, July 26th goes to Corey Johnson of Brevard County, Florida. Okay, what does your Uncle Charla say about the great state of Florida? The craziest people in America come from the Bronx and all of Florida. And today's story is no exception. See, Corey was arrested on Friday for car theft. He stole a Ford F-150. I would say that's the official truck of Florida. Drop on the clues bombs for the Ford F-150. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I would, I would agree. <laughs> he stole a Ford F-150 without the owner's permission. Now, car theft is a crazy crime. But sometimes people commit car theft for what they believe are valid reasons. And usually that reason is because they have some place important to be. Or they think they have some place important to be. And stealing a car is worth them getting there, okay? This is one of those stories, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. See, Corey needed to steal this Ford F-150 because he needed. He had to. He had just, he just, he was just called to warn the U.S. government about a pressing issue. He had to warn the U.S. government about something. And when you gotta warn the U.S. government about something, you need a Ford F-150 to drive to your local U.S. government base. What are you talking about, Uncle Charla? I'm talking about Florida. Let's go to WESH NBC2 for the report, please. Calaman is accused of driving a stolen pickup truck to the U.S. Space Force base in Brevard County, and deputies say Corey Allen Johnson said that he tried to get on the base because the president had told him he needed to warn the government that aliens were fighting Chinese dragons. Deputies realized the truck was stolen and placed Johnson under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. You know what I love about Florida? The news in Florida just reports that like it's normal. You just replay it again. Calaman is accused of driving a stolen pickup truck to the U.S. Space Force base in Brevard County, and deputies say Corey Allen Johnson said that he tried to get on the base because the president had told him he needed to warn the government that aliens were fighting Chinese dragons. Deputies realized the truck was stolen and placed Johnson under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. She reported that with such ease. Mm -mm. You know, last hour we were talking about THC and the amount of THC that's in some of these edibles and the flour. And some of y'all were saying y'all do 40% THC. One of y'all said y'all do a dab that's 80% THC and you sprinkle it on some white widow. White widow by itself is like 20 to 25% THC. I stand on the fact that if you're doing all that, you might as well be smoking crack. Okay, you're doing THC that high and you are trying to escape something and you actually need therapy because you got some unprocessed trauma you need to deal with. But what I'm really saying is THC got to be in the oranges in Florida. I mean, I know most oranges are high in vitamin C, but something in Florida got to be high in THC. I don't want to blame this on just meth, cocaine, heroin. There is something in Florida that not only makes people do I must be extremely high activities, but they're creative. Okay, I mean, we have been hearing about Florida men and women for years, and every time we hear about stories from Florida, it's something we've never seen or heard before. You could do an anthology series on just Florida stories, and it would be better than The Twilight Zone. It would be better than episodes of Atlanta, okay? This dude went to the Patrick Space Force Base on behalf of the president to give <clears throat> warning that a fight is happening between Chinese dragons and U.S. aliens. This is incredible. You start off playing Grand Theft Auto only to go warn the U.S. government that there is a battle going on between Drogon and Thanos. Also, he didn't just say he had a message from the president. He said that the president told him to steal the car. Can you imagine Joe Biden in your head telling you to steal a car? If you don't know whether or not to steal this car to warn the government about dragons and aliens, then you ain't from Florida. Okay, there is not one person in this room are listening to me right now, whether it's on YouTube, whether you listening on the app, whether you're going to be listening on the podcast later, whether you in your car right now, you cannot come up with one valid reason as to why Corey Johnson did this, because there is none. We just all collectively understand because it's Florida. Please give Corey Johnson the biggest hee haw. <coughs> now we can play two games. Okay. Play two games here. Two games. We can play a game of guess what race it is. Okay. And I want to play a game of guess what age he is. <laughs> okay? Okay. All right. Corey Johnson, Brevard County, Florida, mm -hmm. stole a Ford F-150 just to go warn the U.S. government that there's a fight happening between Chinese dragons and U.S. aliens. Angela Yee, guess what 
Racy is! Uh, Corey Johnson. I'm yes. going to say African American. Okay, African American. Good guess. Damn. Last name Johnson. Okay, it was That's a lot. That's right. I know somebody named Corey Johnson. That's what I'm saying. A lot of slave black. owners were named Johnson. A lot of us got that last name. Uh, DJ, well, you know what? Let me do the seat. Yee. Now, look. Corey Johnson. Guess uh, what age he is? I'm going to say about 52. Okay, 52. Okay. African American, 52. That's what Angela Yee says. Ask me. Okay. Ask DJ me. Envy. Yes. Uh, Corey Johnson. Mm. Stole a Ford F-150 truck, F-150, yeah. drove to a space station in Florida, drove to, to Patrick Space Force Base, to warn the U.S. government that there's a fight happening between Chinese dragons and U.S. aliens. Guess what race he is? White. Okay. What make, tell me what makes you say that. I just don't think black people are going to steal a car and then go to the government. If we're going to steal something, we're going to keep it moving. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. True. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. True. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, I want... Um, Angela, you didn't know she's wrong about the race. Yes! DJ Envy's white about the race. I'm right, not white about the race. I didn't I'm right say about you were white. You're Dominican. I know I know you I know what you are, sir. I knew that. I didn't, right. I didn't say you were white about the race. Now show me the picture um, so I get the age. Now this is this is tell me the age. Guess what age he is! Ooh. Ooh. He's not aging well. Um I would say third twenty-eight. Man, shut up. You Googled that. There ain't no way. You Googled it. No, I didn't. He didn't. Well, Google. I didn't. There ain't no I, I way. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing. I didn't Google it. Don't nothing look 28 no, about this, is how, this man. This is how I got it. He's talking uh, dragon, so he's probably a, a fan of one of those shows that's out now talking about dragons and aliens. Older people, a lot of older people don't watch them who, shows. Who, who you been working with the past 13 years? <laughs> what do I believe in? How old am I? You're right. What are you talking about? It, it, it has nothing to do with age when it comes to aliens and dragons, sir. Okay. <laughs> the moral of the story is, Angelique said this guy is 52. I would have guessed 50-something years old he? as well. Envy said 28 because he Googled. He's I actually Googled. Googled. He's, he's Googled. The he's, he's, there's no hey, way. did I Google? He's 29 years old. See? This man. I said 29. This man. No, this, you couldn't be too right. It's no way. This man, if this man is, tw- this man's 29. It means he's never drank any water in his life. No, he's, okay? he's, he's uh, aging bad. A heavy diet nah, of Nah, but when heroin. he starts talking about dragons fighting dragons, that's... It's the shows that's on now. That's a younger age. Game of Thrones, you mean? Yes. Oh, that show is not on now. But it was on now. My daughter just started watching it yesterday for the you first time. You act like I don't watch Game of Thrones. You know what, Envy? Leave me alone. Was don't I right or was I right? You were right because you Googled. Right? You Googled Google this it. man's name. I did not There's Google no it. way you guessed 28. I, did, I, did I want y'all Google to go it. look at this man's face and tell me no, 28 no. is what comes across I your mind. There's together. no way. You're going to look at this man's picture yes. later and you're going to say, God damn, there's no way he's 29. I knew he, I, I knew what it was. I what could tell. He looks like he, he has son. He's been in Florida too long. Yeah. His face, <laughs> his face already looked like it did a life sentence, bro. I'm not going to lie. Damn. His face looks like he's doing 25 years of life, and I'm leaning more to the life. All right. Well, thank you for that donkey today. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.